Hello everybody, welcome back to the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. Lots of awesome stuff going on in the world of AI lately. So before we get into today's main event, and yes, I promise you guys, this is a very good one. I want to update you about a few videos I made this past week. So first of all, I do want to bring up the whole OpenAI drama debacle. Yes, it was resolved. For those of you that don't know, Sam Altman came back and they restructured the board just like I predicted on Twitter. So not much to be said there, the drama's over, but uh, yeah, I think everyone's confidence in OpenAI's ability to manage something close to AGI or artificial general intelligence has taken quite a hit. In my last AI technology update video, a lot of you wanted to see me test out the speech to music app. So that video is absolutely coming in the future. What we're talking about today is huge. Eleven Labs, which is the best AI text to speech that I've ever seen, has a brand new mode that isn't text to speech, but still involves AI audio and all of the voices that you've created so far using Eleven Labs. They've got a new speech to speech mode. So you can use a microphone like this and just say whatever you want to say, and it will recreate all of that in whatever voice you say. Select. In comparison to text to speech, this is more believable, and I can say pretty much anything. We're going to put this thing to its limits today and show you uh, all of the use cases. It's incredible. Before we dive into the exploration and testing of this AI, a quick word from our sponsor. Here on the channel, sponsors are an absolutely crucial piece that allow me to make videos for you guys full time. Incogni has been an amazing sponsor of the channel and solves a seemingly impossible problem that we all face on the internet. You see, if you're an active internet user like I am, our personal data is just a few clicks away for anyone to access. As you can see, I've been a victim of this myself with 76,000 unread emails, most of which are just spam. Incogni essentially steps in as your digital AI bodyguard and automatically works on your behalf to keep your personal details details and data off the market. It works like this. First, you allow Incogni to work on your behalf. Incogni will go contact data brokers, demand the removal of your personal information. And by the way, this could include anything from your address to shopping habits, even your familial connections. The best part is that this is all automated. Brand Incogni, the right to work on your behalf, sit back and relax. Week after week, month after month, it will be working in the background. So you really don't have to worry about signing up for new sites sites are browsing the web as you normally do. Your data is protected. Now, I don't want to brag, but just because you're watching the Matt Vid Pro AI channel, you get a whopping 60% off. So use my code MattVidProAI with the link down in the description below and take back control of your personal data. Big thanks to Incogni and back to your regularly scheduled programming. You're going to want to put your headphones on for this one. Here we are on the Eleven Labs website. We now have two tasks, our regular text-to-speech that we all know and love, and now speech-to-speech. -speech. Of course, the settings are actually entirely the same pretty much for both of these. So, like I said, you can pick any of the voices that you can get from the Eleven Labs library or the pre-made Eleven Labs voices. Here we can actually record right in the website, which I'll probably be doing for this video, or you can drag and drop your own audio files that you might have pre-recorded earlier. But yeah, let's, let's give this thing a test. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video here on the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. So we'll stop recording. We can play this audio back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video here on the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. Record some decent audio. I can tell that's not as high quality as you're listening to right now. But let's listen to this transcribed into the narrator voice. And I'll play a little demo of the narrator voice so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. The greatest part of our happiness depends on our dispositions, not our circumstances. So yeah, you can tell that this narrator voice is quite a bit different from my voice. Let's click generate. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. It is so darn good. It sounds like he's actually saying it more or less. <laughs> just blown away. Let's add a little bit more emotion into that. I mean, that had a lot of emotion behind it. That's a part of the reason it sounds so real, but let's do some more transcription here and just put more emotion into things. When the AI first showed up, I, I didn't think much of it. You know, chat GPT this, chat GPT that, nothing too serious. But then the robots came, AI powered, AI brains, 
and they just wiped us out. They took over everything. They took over our stores, our lives, our houses, taking out the trash. Okay, we just got cut off at 24 seconds of audio. So that's the limit for now. I guess they're going to lift that limit in the future. Hopefully it's the soon future because that's a kind of pain in the butt limit. Anyways, let's generate that. Realistic emotion is what I'm hoping for. When the AI first showed up, I, I didn't think much of it. You know, chant GPT this, chant GPT that. Nothing too serious. But then the robots came. AI powered. AI brains. And they just wiped us out. They took over everything. They took over our stores, our lives, our houses. Very, very interesting. So you can notice it doesn't have that perfect British accent like the voice is supposed to have because my clear American accent is just coming through. So I bet if I were to put on a pretty bad impression of a British accent, it'll probably sound perfect. But that emotion, that emotion, guys, was like... Mm, it was there and it sounded real very much liking that let's let's do a, a british accent excuse this this horrible british accent i'm about I'm about to put on oh please i would love a cup of tea can you go grab me a nice cinnamon tea right, right over there in that little tin over there i would love some of that if you have a british accent i'm sorry all right let's see if putting a, an accent on helps the ai get the accent just spot on Oh, please, I would love a cup of tea. Can you go grab me a nice cinnamon tea? We're right over there in that little teen over there. I would love some of that. That was better, I think. I think my British accent is just so bad that <laughs> it's still kind of coming through, but that sounds more believable. So let's pick an accent now that's a little bit closer to mine. A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. Let's go with a female voice, though, because I think that'll be more impressive. Oh my god, you haven't subscribed to the Matt Vidpro AI channel yet? Are you serious? You absolutely have to subscribe. It's just, it's the best AI channel out there. I mean, seriously, you, you're really missing out. Oh my god, you haven't subscribed to the Matt Vidpro AI channel yet? Are you serious? You absolutely have to subscribe. It's just, it's the best AI channel out there. I mean, seriously, you, you're really missing out. Wow, that is good. That is so close to, like, reality. Like, straight up. Convincing at the highest levels, man. And I can change the stability of this, too. Like, what's, if I have the stability all the way at the lowest end, let's see what that's like. Oh my god, can you believe the latest news from OpenAI? They fired Sam Altman and then just hired him right back? That is just nuts, man. I mean, I can't even believe that. Oh my god, can you believe the latest news for OpenAI? They fired Sam Altman and then just hired him right back? That is just nuts, man. I mean, I can't even believe that. You're not supposed to use the stability all the way down there like that, but it still sounds really good. This model is so impressive. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. Oh, she's like a good, like, infomercial voice. Do you struggle to complete everyday tasks? Is Google just not getting you the answers you need in life? Well, try ChatGPT. It's the new AI here to help you with everyday life. Do you struggle to complete everyday tasks? Is Google just not getting you the answers you need in life? Well, try Chat GPT. It's the new AI here to help you with everyday life. Especially at the end there, I was really impressed by the way she said life. And again, for each voice, it has its own custom settings. So if we regenerate this at like a lower stability level, meaning it's going to have more exaggeration, maybe it'll be even better. Again, you might have to tweak and fine tune these settings a little bit. Do you struggle to complete everyday tasks? Is Google just not getting you the answers you need in life? Well, try Chat GPT. It's the new AI here to help you with everyday life. Wow, that was so perfect, dude. This is so, like, just mind-blowing. Like, absolutely mind-blowing. This is the best, absolutely the best speech-to-speech -speech I have ever heard, bar none. Like, that's it, dude. Allow the world to live as it chooses, and allow yourself to live as you choose. Let's do the classic Adam voice. Let's listen to that same exact clip. Adam is the most popular voice in 11 Labs history, you see it on a bunch of TikToks. Do you struggle to complete everyday tasks? Is Google just not getting you the answers you need in life? Well, try ChatGPT. 
It's the new AI here to help you with everyday life. This is borderline perf perfection. I mean, the accents are a struggle. Like, if I switch back to the narrator. Do you struggle to complete everyday yeah. tasks? Is Google just not getting you the answers you need in life? Well, try Chat GPT. It's the new AI here to help you with everyday life. It sounds like a British person trying to do an American accent. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> it's funny, though. Let's stick with Adam again. You guys know what is truly missing from this experience is real-time live AI voice translation, aka a sort of live voice changer that uses AI. One does exist, and I covered it a long time ago, but it is not nearly as accurate or good as this. You guys know what is truly missing from this experience is real-time live AI voice translation, aka a sort of live voice changer that uses AI. One does exist, I covered it a long time ago, but it is not nearly as accurate or good as this. There are absolutely people that are going to make entire YouTube channels that just don't use their own voice at all because they don't like their voice. They can use someone else's voice and it's not a problem. You'll never even know. <laughs> That's the crazy part. You'll never know. So yeah, you can clone your own voice. You're not supposed to snag other people's voices. Like my voice is on here and I could release it so everyone can just record anything they want and say anything they want with my voice. I don't think I think I'll do that though because last time I did people were generating 600,000 characters worth of text before this speech to speech came out all in my voice and I, I kind of don't want that happening again but I mean yeah you can clone voices with 11 labs that's not really a problem at all like I could upload Obama's voice in here for example but I do have to click this saying I hereby confirm that I have all the necessary rights or consents to upload and clone these voice samples so yeah you you have to abide by the terms of service but what you can do is voice design which allows you to essentially generate a bunch of voices based on all the data that that they have so far like it can say I want an American accent I want it to be middle-aged and we'll say male and you know they have this accent strength slider and I can just generate these random voices first we thought the PC was a calculator then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter so if I like this voice I can then click use voice and now I've just created a new voice essentially out of thin air and that's what a lot of these voices you're seeing are like the you know young nerdy male school teacher I created all these using that voice generator I can bring it right into the speech to speech and record some audio. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So yeah, that's the exact voice we just generated out of thin air and now I can use it for all my needs. I think like you could redo audiobooks or create new audiobooks that are much more accurate to realistic voices from movies, let's say, or even just do more professional voice acting using something like this. Especially if you're an amateur, like you could do your own audiobook for a book that you just wrote. That would be pretty darn cool. So like I said in the beginning of the video, they also have the voice library. And guys, this this is where you can pick some of the most popular voices from Eleven Labs. This is like their own little social media where you can share the voices you make either with that generator or your own voice. If you see a little check mark, that's someone's real voice and that's how I had my voice uploaded before. So Dan Dan here, let's listen to this one. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. The rest of these I believe are just generated from that little AI voice generator that they have. You can even sort by different types. Like we could say Indian accent, for example. I believe that we are fundamentally the same and have the same basic potential. Or a British accent. We have committed the golden rule to memory. Let us now commit it to life. So you can really just pick and choose whatever you want. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage Okay, I'm going to do a bunch of sounds from this website. Let's drop in the fitness gram pacer test. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage oh aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues it's like hd fitness grand pacer test <laughs> let's hear it from me now this will be my voice the fitness grand pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues <laughs> I do like that. Let's hear uh, British now. Again, it struggles with accents, so. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. 
Yeah, that's like a weird combo between a British voice and a Southern voice. Let's try... Happiness can exist only in acceptance. This voice. <laughs> the Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. You can just convert voices like that. That is amazing. Okay, we gotta try more stuff. <gasps> oh, the Roblox oof. Absolutely trying the Roblox oof. <laughs> that is good. I like that a lot. Let's try a British Roblox oof. Ooh! <laughs> Why is that so funny, dude? He it sounds like he's in pain. All right, let's let's listen to me now. How would I do a Roblox oof? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Amazing. You can just do with sound effects too. We got to get more. Let's try this one. Oh uh, my fellas. I don't have high hopes for this because it's literally music. Like it has a beat, it has piano. We'll try it first in my voice. It kind of jammed at the end, though. I don't know what we were listening to there. That was a little scary. Let's try... Let's try that again. I'm going to try the British narrator voice, and I'm going to put the stability lower. And the clarity will put lower, too, because it's like music, not a voice, really. I mean, there is like some voice lines in there. It's like some weird breathing song. That did not work. SpongeBob fail. Let's try me. Oh my god, dude, that scared the bejesus out of me. Again, the sound effects, they just don't work at all. What about a simple fart sound? Close enough. John Cena? And his name is John Cena! Oh man, that is loud. We'll try it. This has some voice in there, but it also has some music. And it is name as John Cena's Confucius Doom yeah, it's really meant for voices, you can tell. This one from Spongebob. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> the more expressive, the more difficult it gets. Like, let's try clarity at 100. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> it's tough with those, those sound effects. It's a little bit tougher. Let's try that with a uh, British voice. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That was better, but it did not have that British accent. Obamna! Oh, I definitely want to try Obamna. <laughs> I did a video on an Eleven Labs competitor, and they just, like, ripped Obama's voice, and were showing it off on their website. I just referred to Obama as Obamna in that video, and barely anyone noticed. Okay, British Obamna. Obamna! <laughs> what? <laughs> Obamnum. That's even better. All right, let's listen to me do it. Obamnins. Obamnins. There's a little bit of struggling that can happen when your clip is really short and it's also like a low quality meme clip. The higher quality the audio you put in here is definitely going to get you the, the better results. Okay, the classic. Bruh. Wow. Well. <laughs> well. well. That don't work. You could just totally tell it's much better if you actually give it some clear, good narration like I'm doing right now. That's how you actually get this high quality, full stop, the most convincing AI audio you've probably ever heard. You could just totally tell it's much better if you actually give it some clear, good narration like I'm doing right now. That's how you actually get this high quality, full stop, the most convincing AI audio you've probably ever heard. Eleven Labs has been pretty amazing so far, and I don't think they've had a miss so so far in terms of their releases, whether it be the automatic dubbing, which is amazing, their regular text-to-speech and voice cloning, or even this new speech-to-speech. -speech. I'm excited to see how they progress in the future, and yeah, definitely give this one a shot. I'm pretty sure most of you are aware by now, but they have a free forever plan that's pretty awesome, 10,000 characters per month, and also for your first month here, for the starter and creator plans, they give you 50 and 80% off respectively, so you can literally try the starter plan for one buck. Some really great 
great deals in terms of pricing. They really nailed that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. More awesome videos in the future. Lots of stuff to talk about. I haven't even gotten into some of the best AI tech that I've seen lately. It's all listed, though, and charted. So if you want sneak peeks for stuff like that, check out the Discord server and my Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.